Hello everyone. I am your social science teacher and today we'll start chapter number 3 of social science which is responsibilities of a good citizen. Children, this chapter starts with the topic civics. So let's understand what is civics. Civics is a study of human rights, responsibilities of citizens, the governance in the environment in which our society is formed. Okay, I read four points here children. Let me explain all these four points one by one. First is, we study about human rights and civics. What are human rights? Human rights are the rights which are inherited by all the citizens of country. Okay, and they get these rights irrespective of their color, religion, caste or language they speak. Okay. Some examples if we'll see of human rights are right to freedom, right to education, right to justice or right to equality. These are some rights. And if I explain uh, right to equality children, it means that every citizen of a country is equal. Right? Every citizen is equal before the law. There will be no discrimination on any basis, on the basis of religion, race or caste. Okay, everyone has a right to avail equal opportunity according to this right. So, we study about these rights here in civics. Second, responsibilities of citizen. We all are the citizens of country India children. We all enjoy fundamental rights or basic rights given by the government. But along with these rights, we have certain duties also towards our country. Okay. Some duties we have towards our country or our nation. These duties are responsibilities. Now what are these? These are like keeping our areas clean, helping others, abiding the laws, rules or regulation formed by the government, protect public property or respect the national anthem, national flag. Right? So we study about these responsibilities in civics. Third, the governance. What is governance? Governance means how a, a country is being governed by the government. How a country is run by the government. We learn the process and the functioning under government, governance, right, children. Right? And if I talk in simple language, governance means decisions and the actions of the people who run our country. Okay? So, we see this governance in civics. And uh, let me give you certain examples also of good governance seen in past. Examples are like good infrastructure, amples of opportunities for the employment and the better policies they have formed. Right? Fourth, the environment in which our society is formed. Children, environment plays very important role. Environment means surrounding. Environment and surrounding, they affect everyone. They affect us, they affect policies, politics, market, right? So, it is very important to understand environment. So, we study about environment also in civics. Next topic is importance of studying civics. Why it is important to study civics children? It is important because it helps us to understand human rights. Okay, what are human rights? Human rights are those rights which are inherited by all the citizens of the country. Okay, like right to freedom, we can express our thoughts, we can keep our views, right to education, right to justice, right to equality. Okay, so we understand these rights by studying civics. Second, to understand the responsibilities of a citizen. Children, by studying civics, we understand our responsibilities. What are the duties we have towards our country? Like we should keep our areas clean, neighborhood clean. We should respect our national anthem, national flag. We should follow all the rules and regulation made by the government. Right? So, we understand our responsibilities by studying civics. Third, to understand the environment in which we live. Children, by studying civics, we understand our environment. Okay? Environment means society. Society in which we 
live we understand that who lives in our society what are the cultures followed in our society what are the customs there in our society right we also understand economical environment in our society what are the employments what are the jobs what are the incomes right so we understand our environment also in civics next to promote peace and security we study civics children if we understand our environment then only we can promote peace okay we understand that what are the custom cultures if we'll understand that then only we would be able to promote peace and security right next is to understand and uphold our culture children by studying civics we understand our culture or we get to know more about our culture if we know our culture then only we can uphold it or preserve it last to establish good relationship and respect children if we understand all these rights all the responsibilities of the citizens then only we can establish good relationship okay so by studying civics we understand all these things next is civic sense what is civic sense civic sense means social ethics children social ethics like keeping streets and roads clean public property clean abiding to the laws means following rules and regulations and respect everyone this is also a social ethic maintain peace hygiene cleanliness these are social ethics okay if you follow these things if you respect everyone if you uh, keep uh, your property public property clean if you maintain peace that means you have good civic sense okay and if you throw waste on roads if you park your vehicle in on the middle of road that means you don't have good civic sense children you might have heard that a lot of foreign countries functions in a smooth manner why because the people of foreign countries they have strong civic sense okay you will see that their roads are clean their stations are clean their trains are clean why because the people they have strong civic sense they don't throw things here and there they don't keep their trains dirty but if you'll see here in india people if somewhere it is written that uh, that uh, uh, parking is prohibited and spitting is pro prohibited then also people they are spitting and parking their vehicles there okay so this shows that we don't have good civic sense children so we should inculcate these ethics in ourselves so can we can have a good strong civic sense clear next topic is citizen who is citizen citizen is a person who is a member of a particular country right like we are member of country india we are born here brought up here and we have got rights by the indian government so we are indian citizens if person born in america he got rights by the american government so he become american citizen okay children citizen is a person who is a member of a particular country and who has rights given by the government because of being born there clear now every citizen should be a good citizen children every citizen should be a good citizen how you can be a good citizen you can be a good citizen by various ways let's see those ways first volunteer to be active in your community children good citizens they always volunteering themselves they always come forward to help others they take initiatives they protect the environment around them okay second they are always honest and trustworthy good citizens are always honest sincere and trustworthy they are reliable okay third they follows rules and laws good citizens always follows rules they never break rules and laws made by the government fourth they respect the rights of others children good citizen understands the rights of other they believe they understand that everybody is equal so respect each other fifth 
be informed about the world around you good citizens are always informed informed means they know what is happening around them okay and how you can be informed children you can be informed by knowing what is happening around you and how will you become informed by reading newspapers by watching tv you should be updated if you want to be a good citizen you should be updated next take responsibilities of your action good citizens they always take responsibilities of their actions whether they have done something wrong or right they should not be like if they have done something wrong they will not take the responsibility they always take the responsibility whether it is right or wrong next they respect the properties of other good citizens they understand that every property is important whether it is their or others so they respect the properties of everyone and last they are compassionate compassionate means they are always kind they are kind and they are always concerned for others they are not mean good citizens are always compassionate okay so i hope you all will become good citizen next topic is neighbors who are neighbors neighbors are the people who lives near us near us means next to our houses or in front of our house or it can be across the street also children importance of good neighbor why it is important to have a good neighbor in our surrounding why not bad neighbor children nobody wants to keep bad neighbors in their surrounding nobody wants bad neighbor why because they always create unpleasant situations they always fight okay they don't help others that is why nobody wants bad neighbors in their surrounding everybody wants good neighbor and everybody wants to be good neighbor or everybody should be good neighbor okay good neighbors are important because they makes everyone feel comfortable feel comfortable means in case of any problem or in case of any difficulty they come out for help okay they come forward to help us second every neighbor should have a friendly relationship with each other why children why every neighbor should keep friendly relationship because it enhance social life okay it create meaningful relationship we always get to know more about our people who lives in our surrounding and we always learn from them so it is important to keep a friendly or jovial relationship third good neighbor is the one who is always willing to help others children good neighbors are always cooperative nice supportive okay and they are always willing to help others for example suppose if something get finished in your kitchen it can be sugar or it can be salt or it can be oil also and you cannot go to shop okay there are some neighbors already there are some neighbors or there are some relatives in your house then good neighbors they will provide you that thing immediately hmm understood their importance fourth good neighbors are as important as relatives we always give priority to our relatives no but relate uh, neighbors they are as important as relatives because they provide immediate help in case of any emergency it can be any sickness or it can be any injury they are the one who gives help and call out for help okay children so it is important to have good neighbors in surrounding and we should also be a good neighbor responsibilities of a good citizen children every citizen has some roles and responsibilities towards their nations or country and one of the responsibility is participation in election everybody should vote okay elections they are held in every democratic country to select the government democratic country means country where people choose the leader okay where people choose the leader or government so elections they are held in every country to select the government and why we select the government because selected government upholds the need of citizen upholds means take care of the needs of their citizen and runs the country smoothly okay next is importance of voting children 
every citizen who is above the age of 18 has a right to vote now you all are not 18 you are below the age 18 but once you will turn 18 you will get this right and you should vote and you have to vote okay voting is important because it gives us right to voice out our choice children right to voice out our choice means in voting you can vote the candidate of your choice okay second we should vote responsibly since the country's future lies in our decision children we should always see the deserving candidate the candidate who is doing work for the people who is not lying to others like uh, we will do this we will do that hmm. but as of now they are not doing anything so we should check it properly because it is in our hand future of the country is in our hand so we should see who is deserving and who is non-deserving third voting gives a sense of empowerment to every individual see voting gives sense of empowerment it makes us understand that we are also in the process of decision making okay so it gives us sense of empowerment fourth if we do not cast our vote corrupt official will misuse our vote illegally children if we will not cast our vote suppose means if we think that oh our vote doesn't matter one vote doesn't matter then what will happen our vote will get wasted it will go waste our vote and our some friends also they don't vote then these vote will get waste what will happen then the non-deserving candidate will get win hmm. which is not right corrupt officials they will misuse our vote and they will win so we should always cast our vote for the deserving candidate next topic is care for public and private properties children there are many properties which are common to all of us living in the society like public roads places of worships like gurudwara mandir church mosque libraries school public transport okay these properties are created from the income collected from the public means these properties are created from our money which we give in the form of taxes okay we give many taxes children we give service tax income tax road tax so the money which we give in the form of taxes are used to create these properties so such properties like these are called public properties no one or no individual can claim ownership over these properties these are for everyone these are for all okay so we should take a very good care of these properties hmm. we should not damage these properties second property is private property properties like scooter car jewelry houses which we bought from our personal income from our personal money are called personal properties okay we possess individual rights over these properties nobody can use these properties or these things without our permission okay so there are two types of properties public property and private property public properties are those properties which are created from our money which we give in the form of taxes and private properties are those properties which we bought from our personal income clear we all take very good care of private property all the things which belongs to our family we take very good care of it but when it comes to public property we all ignore we don't pay attention like it doesn't matter it is not right children we should understand that public property is important too we should take care of public property and should not damage it why because it is meant for all of us to use right any harm to public property is a loss to all of us and we will have to pay more taxes to repair it or to replace it so we must learn to take care of public property right children now let's see how we can take care of some public properties first school property children a school provides facilities that are used by children 
and teachers. It is a property which belongs to all of us. So how we will take care of it? We should not scribble on the school walls, children. We should not scratch the desk. Children should not write their names on the desk. And always they should throw waste in the dustbin. All the waste, wrapper or litter should throw in dustbin. And children, they should always switch off the fans and lights when they are not in use. And the playground of school should always be kept clean. By this way, we can take care of public property, uh, this school property. Right? Now, second is public transport. Children, buses, trains, planes, they are public properties. But what we have seen that some people, they try to damage the seats of buses, trains, they tear the seat covers, which we should not do. Scribbling the names on the painted area. This is not right, children. We should always sit on allotted seat. If someone is doing something wrong, we should inform the concerned authorities. We should not spit in buses and trains, children. Bus stops and uh, platforms should be kept clean. This is our duty. Right? Third, monuments. Children, monuments are historical buildings. They are very important. Why they are important? Because they help us to understand about our past. They are important part of our heritage. We should understand that we should not damage them. Okay. Huge amount of money is spent on these monuments every year for their maintenance. But some people, they are least bothered. They write their names on them. This is a very wrong act, children. We should not write our names. We must not damage this property by scribbling or writing. We should not throw waste around these monuments. Always use trash bin. Everybody should use trash bin. Okay. And if there are any instructions mentioned there, we should follow all those. Right. Now last park. How we can take care uh, of park. Children, we have seen that we see all uh, we see people of all the ages in ages in park all come to park some they come for walking some they come for exercising some they come for playing so it is a very important place and we have seen that parks are always beautiful they have many flowers they have many slides benches swings so we should not destroy any of these things of park we should not pluck flowers we should not uh, uh, damage benches we should not uh, means uh, throw rubbish and uh, wrappers in the uh, park okay we should only utilize park a path which is meant for walking for walk and playing area for playing right children some people they come with their pets in the park but they should take care that the litter of these pets should be collected by them only and it should be thrown in dustbins right by this we can take care of public properties